Now welcome to Sitam Church Online. My name is Purity Murungi. I'm excited to have you uh, uh, come watch our videos. We are excited with what God is doing through His Word, His timeless Word, His unchanging Word in a changing world, in a very fragile world, in a very fragmented world. It encourages us because we know that God is transforming your lives. God is reaching out to you because He does not send His Word out in vain. We are excited even with the feedback that we get from you from time to time on our interactions uh, on our social media platforms, just hearing what God is doing, hearing God heal, hearing God deliver, hearing God provide, hearing God lift a standard against the schemes and works of darkness. It is a joy because that is his character, that is his nature, and that is why he has provided for this forum for us to talk to one another, to hear his word, to feed on his uh, timeless truths that are always applicable and speaking to our every life question. And in today's conversation, I just want to us to talk about foundations. Uh, foundations uh, from the book of Psalm chapter 11. In uh, Psalm chapter 11 is a psalm that uh, is penned by David when uh, Saul is pursuing him. He is just, um, he's just been anointed newly as a king and uh, the counselors were advising him to forsake God. But it is very interesting the kind of words that David puts together, even to extol and to, to honor the name of God, just to acknowledge his abilities and his power. And Psalm uh, chapter 11, uh, verse 1, the Bible says, In the Lord I take refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird? To your mountain. Verse 1 helps us to understand and to see how God, uh, um, I mean how, how uh, 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 David acknowledges the help and the power of God, his ability regardless of Saul who is pursuing him because his foundations were shaken. He was a man on the run. We see him acknowledging the help of God. We see him uh, bypassing the counsel of the friends that were telling him to forsake God and to forget about his help. And he's asking, what, I mean, he's saying, in the Lord, I take refuge. And then verse 2, he says, for look, the wicked bend their bows. Of course, he was a man on the run because he was a man who was being pursued. They set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in, the, in heart. He was being pursued in the shadows and in the open by Saul and his people. Then verse 3, his, uh, the Bible says, when the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? You know, uh, uh, David ha was a man that had known his source of strength. He knew where to run to. He knew what to do. He knew who to turn to. And he knew how to turn to God. In, in, uh, I mean, for refuge and for help. And I think the conversation that David is having in this psalm is so applicable in our context in this season that the foundations of the earth have been shaken. Even the superpowers, even the people, the scientists are still cracking the season. I mean, no one of us was in this season before. We are all of us learning and we found ourselves in it. And there is no expert of the season. And you discover that uh, David says when the foundations of the earth are shaken, where do we run to? Where did he run to? He runs to God. So my conversation this this particular point in time is to remind us we have a refuge in God. We have a place to run to. We have a place to run to even when the foundations of the other shaken. Even when your wisdom is shaken to the core and you don't know who to turn to, where to turn to, your resources have been shaken, your family has been shaken, your health has been shaken, the foundation of your normal human understanding has been shaken to the core, to the backbone. But there is somewhere that we can turn to. Like David would say, he turns back to God, who is not shaken, is not shakable. I mean, he's the unchanging God. That is who he is. Never changing, never failing, never shaken by, by seasons or circumstances. 
I mean, he created the foundations of the earth. He formed you, he knit you in your mother's womb. What makes you think that he's not able to put your life together and your pieces together? I believe you're encouraged. If you are feeling like your foundations are of whatever nature, you can fill in, in, in the, uh, the, the blank because every last one of us have their own shaking or their own challenges. Therefore, if you fill in the blank, whatever foundation you feel that has been shaken, whatever understanding that has been reconfigured because of your circumstances and challenges, we, uh, my prayer for you is that you will focus on the one that creates and created the foundations of the earth. We have a refuge, my friend. We have a place to turn to, and we can turn to God because he's our refuge. The Bible says he is our refuge and help in time of need. Thank you for watching Sitam Church Online. If there be a place in your life that has been shaken, I pray that God will reach out to you, and I want to pray for you right now that your pieces, he will be able to help you to put your pieces back together and be able to trust him. Shall we pray together? Lord, we thank you because we know that you are the creator of the universe and every foundation, even our own lives, you created. And therefore, if there be places that we are shaken, we are afraid, I pray for my viewer that God, you will intervene and also interrupt the flow of evil. And you will help your people because you're a faithful God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching Sitam Church Online. If your foundations have been shaken, you have a refuge, you can turn to God. Thank you for watching. God bless you.